let's talk about my new solar configuration. We got the Renogy 320, two HQST 190s in series, two Renogy 100s in series. I'll show you the um, power output as well. This is where the sun is. I moved the Bouge RV up here. The Bouge RV is a 180. It's a little bit shorter, right? I like that because when my son ends up over here, I take this panel and put it right here and it fits a little bit better. It gives me like a few more inches on this situation. And that's the Renogy Eclipse. And up here I have the Rich Solar 200 watt. And I've been keeping this Sun Power 50 watt panel out here with a pretty long cable just to dump into my smaller power stations. Now let's look at some of these uh, numbers. I am hopefully going to be going in order of panels. This is the Renogy 320. You can see that that one's pulling 225. Is that 16% because I use these suckers? <laughs> I have this one has the two panels on it. You can see it's pulling slightly more power at 260. It's at 21 percent. Let's go take a look at the 120. Now, the UV 120 has 200 watts of solar hooked into it. And you can see just like having a single 200 watt panel is pulling about 140. Well, not about, but it's pulling about 150. That's about how much I expect from a single 200 watt panel. So whenever I put this one back on there, it should be pulling 140, 150, 151, something like that. Just a quick important note about these power stations and them not being full. Cause right now I don't have this deep freezer plugged into here and I don't have this refrigerator plugged into here, but it really doesn't matter because I'm getting the power. Whether I store the power in the batteries or I use the power right now, until I start getting to a point where I'm approaching filling these up, it doesn't matter where I use the power, the power will be used. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Because um, in my mind, I kind of want to be like, throw the, throw the dips on there, throw the devices on there, put the fridge on there and all that jazz, but it doesn't matter. It's like using it or storing it, it's the same difference. I have two kilowatts of power capable to be held in these devices no matter what. You know what I mean? So it's like if I don't use it today, I'll just use it when I need to use it. I'll use it tonight. The problem comes in is when you have power in these and they're full and then you're wasting solar power because you don't have the capacity to take it in. These two are down here because they typically get thrown on um, lanyard panels. This one gets plugged into the Renogy Flex panel and this one gets plugged into its own big blue panel. This is the EB70 getting in 128. It's a little bit less than the 190 that was up there, but you know, still getting 100. I would typically see about like maybe 133 instead of 128. This one is plugged into the Renogy Eclipse getting 70 watts. This one doesn't have anything plugged into it. It's just out here in these streets just taking advantage of solar. And then I typically use it to run a lamp or supplement my bull bat, which is up next. And finally, what we have here is the bull bat getting in 115. And you can see that that is approaching full. It's at 99%. Maybe you can see that. So what I do, I have this little contraption here. I have a 12 volt adapter that's rated at 100 watts this Alcatel is going to come into play i have a 100 watt rated cable and then i have a usb-c to 5521 adapter to the weird port that the Alcatel takes and that allows me to power dump 100 watts into this Alcatel. i'll show you pop that in and i get the power dump in you can see that this is empty because at the end of the day, what I do is I take this cable right here, plug this into this port. This is not bi-directional. It's rated at 100 watts, but this can only take in 60. So then I just power this on and then it start power dumping that 500 watts right back into this one. And then I get the benefits of having a thousand watt hours here. So I can kind of survive off of this because this is not big enough to take in all the power off of that 200 watt panel that's out there. So I really need a thousand watt hour device right here. That would be ideal. And one would think that the EB120 would be good here, but I cannot power dump into that um, using 12 volt. I can only do AC and it's big and I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about having it here, but it may have to end up here eventually. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs>